Hi guys, welcome to a Cairo video about Calamaris. So I've built another ISO this morning. That's the fun in building, right? You can build it every day. <laughs> Thing is, I'm going to show you something that I've developed a few weeks ago. Cairo can be downloaded. Check. Cairo can be built. Check. Calamaris is a GUI. The dependencies around Calamaris change. If that happens and you build and Calamaris is not new, the app is not new, config is the same, right? It stops working. We've already made a video about the specific fact that if we have that, if that arrives, if that happens, you can build it, right? You can build the package and here's a package build you know what to do with a package build you type make package right on the iso on the live environment so make package and off it goes now another thing i'd like to show you is the following thing that i had a what if right what if you start building an iso calamaris is not rebuilt and um, it fails, right? It's, it's coming, Calam the Calamaris package is coming from my repo. But I'm on an holiday, I'm sick, I'm not updating Calamaris. That means you can't build it, right? But yes, you can, you see on the live environment, you can actually build it. So that's no problem. But I've done something more. What if you launch things and it doesn't work? And that's what I've um, added to the system. So let's make sure that Calamaris crashes. Cancel, right? What if Calamaris crashes? User, share, it's easy to make Calamaris crash. Go to user, share Calamar Calamaris, right? And for instance, change the name here. If we go and change, I don't know if we can, Let's see if we can do it with the GUI. I don't see any rename here. So if we change the name from Calamaris, that means actually better do a copy first. Open terminal, sudo of course, move that thing to that thing with an extra S for example, right? So basically I've renamed the folder. Of course, it's going to look for Calamaris with one S. And this is what happens on Cairo, right? Cairo, I continue to have what ifs. What if I launch Calamaris, it breaks, this happens. So we did a kind of um, on Tergos a little bit. And the idea is coming from there that we need to get a new version because the build Calamaris is crashing and we catch that error. We find that error. Thank you, ChatGPT, right? And let's do something with it. Calamaris failed to start. Would you like to attempt to rebuild and restart? So basically it's a pop-up that will happen. And we do again the rebuild that I just show you. We do a test without internet, no updates, no packages, no nothing to come in. To be able to build it right so we need internet do you want to update the system first also important the iso is a fixed moment in time meaning yeah if it's uh, an iso that's a month old a lot of updates came in so we need those updates to be able to build it there is enough space on the system but of course the longer the iso the longer and the more stuff needs to be downloaded, needs to be installed, all on the live environment. So press enter to continue. And it's going to grab all the packages. So basically, now the make package that I've shown you is here, right? It starts on your desktop. It starts building the Calamaris. But first, it's going to update the system. It's going to get and grab the very last packages that it needs to be able to build Calamaris. And later on, will have a working calamari. So that was my idea to give you 
an easier option, a pop-up coming up. Hey, Calamars crashed. Do you want to rebuild it? Is internet there? We need it, right? If there's no internet, go get it. And it starts um, the normal make package procedure. So another what if, what if we didn't have on the Arglex um, environment, so an improvement. That's always that, right? What if we do uh, figure things out if it's possible? If we fail, we fail. We try again in six months, all right? Simple as that. So halfway there, building all kinds of things. And the cow space matters, so who knows, maybe you run out of cow space. What am I talking about, right? Duff. Let's do it again, duff. In here is cow space, right? We have 700 used, so it's already a bit. One fifth is used to build, to download everything, but it can increase, right? Four gigabyte is not that much of space. So you can always change that when you boot up, there's a possibility to go inside the boot screen, right? And say, rather than four gigabyte, I'd like to have 10 gigabyte. And then you can go ahead again. So when the system boots up, you can actually change things. Um, let's see if I could show you that. Where are we? Let's first clean up a bit. I wanna take we're going to see this, right? That's the one we want to see. Um, all right, 513. So I was thinking, right? What if I go a super F7 here? I do a template. I clone this. Finish. I give you the ISO. I put up. And it's in here where you say, let's go for an E edit. And somewhere here, uh, cow space, four gigabytes, I see it already. All you need to do is go in here. Oh my God, this is slow. You see the cursor go to the right. Cow space, four gigabyte. Cow space, eight gigabyte. And you launch it, read the bottom line there, press Ctrl X or F10 to boot. And it's not gonna be four, it's gonna be eight gigabyte. And that's all you need to know. Then you have more space if you need it, right? Voila, all in the same video. And we're building, and building takes time. I do want it to go faster, and if you know how, share it with me. But for now, it um, takes the time it takes, right? Let it do its business. As long as we can, we can boot, install, we're good. So you'll notice afterwards, the Calamaris with a double S will get another Calamaris, right? This one is the wrong one, but when we install the new Calamaris that we're building now, it will actually create a proper Calamaris. Almost there. So this was lurking in the dark. Well, it was some. Um, it's only shown if Calamaris crashes, right? Then that's the only time it actually kicks in. So it should. There we are. Right. I could add lip fake root to the thing as well. And here we have Calamaris. Right. Press enter to exit, done. So we've built it. I can run it again, launch, launch anyway. And there we are, everything is launching. So this is the new Calamars that we've built and off we go. That's it, right? And maybe something to investigate how I did it with the package builds and um, may, may interest somebody who's uh, creating their own ISO or distro. Cheers.